Oh. Preparing today, uh, today's young people for the workforce and keeping them off of drugs. It is very much more than a full-time job for the Governor's Prevention Partnership. And joining us to talk more about that partnership is the partnership's co-president, Roland Harmon. Good to meet you again, finally, Good to meet sir. You too. Good I know to meet we you. have uh, done a lot with you guys in the past. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, glad to have you here and a perfect time to have you here because mm -hmm. January is National Mentors Month. So mm -hmm. what do you want people out there to know, not just about the partnership, but about the importance of mentoring well you know when we think about what our young people are dealing with now and re as a result of the pandemic some of them are struggling with isolation there are mental health challenges we know that mentoring is more important now than ever right yeah. and so this being national mentoring month our goal is to really raise awareness about the benefits of mentoring the impact that adults can have on the lives of a young person and help them navigate you know through challenges and create some sense of normalcy in, yes. in the midst of this pandemic that we're dealing with and let me say community too because I think this mentoring thing was something that happened naturally when you were in a community where people were seeing each other That's face right. to face more That's that right. has slowly been eroding for probably 50 60 years and boy did things really take a turn during the pandemic talk mm -hmm. to me about what you're seeing in terms of this pandemic of loneliness and isolation well some yes isolation students are feeling as though they may not have a, a positive outlet someone to talk to about what they're experiencing yeah. some of the challenges that they see every day right within their own community community, whether it's violence or things that are happening in school, uh, being able to talk to someone about, you know, them being disengaged from school, not feeling connected. Yes. And so a mentor can be the bridge to help fill that role and to help them navigate through some of those challenges. Right. There's a vacuum there. Mm -hmm. Someone is going to talk to young people Absolutely. about this. The question is, who is it and right. what are they going to say? That's why you want to have that mentor be the first one to do it. We need mentors. Mm -hmm. How do people go about being a mentor? With the well, mentor, mentors are positive influences in the lives of young people. They can be, and we want them to be able to share their experiences, their lived experience. Yeah. Uh, right now, uh, uh, the the youth that are mentored, we have um, uh, mostly black and Latino males that are in mentoring relationships now. So our call is really to ask males to step up and become yep. mentors for young people, and to be able to share their diverse backgrounds uh, with young people as well, um, and their experience, their gifts, and their talents uh, that will help young people know that they can succeed one right. thing that when you hear a young person say I did it right and the smile that's on their face that <laughs> is attributed to the impact that a mentor has yes. in the life of a young person now we want to get more mentors so uh, we want to maybe try to preemptively answer some mm -hmm. questions you might mm -hmm. have out there if you're thinking about it what should some of these potential mentors watching right now start to think mm -hmm. about in terms of deciding what might be the right fit for them in terms of mentoring right there's different types of mentors mentoring programs, so a mentor can decide to work in a school, a school setting or a community yeah. setting like a Big Brothers Big Sisters or yep. your local school, uh, a faith-based setting uh, where mentors and volunteers are. Uh, be thinking about uh, being an active listener, right, and mm -hmm. listening to the concerns that a young person has. Um, also be thinking about ways that you can share uh, uh, tips along the way that have helped you become successful. Yeah. That's what young people are really interested in. When you were dealing with this situation, you know, what did you do to overcome that challenge? Yeah. You mentioned the workshops. I'm mm -hmm. curious to learn more about that. And as soon as you said active listener, mm -hmm. that sort of hit me because I think a lot of people's first instinct, if you're going to be a mentor, is to say, well, here's the knowledge I can pass right. along to right. you. Right. But if you're not careful, it's all talking and no listening. Right. right. It's all it's all about what the young person needs, right? Yeah. Listening to them, presence, being there, uh, taking time, uh, offering different uh, options, right? Right? So you may do some research. Uh, say a mentor wants to be, a mentee wants to be a, 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 a pilot. Okay, well, what are the different ways to get there and look at the yes. different options? Is it commercial? Is it private? Sure. And, and so the mentor is a resource. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Lastly, if people want to uh, get in touch with your organization, go to one of those workshops. What's the easiest way they can do it? So they can sign up uh, through our website at preventionworkct.org or Connecticut uh, Step Up CT, Step Up Connecticut, which is an initiative through the governor's office. And then we also have uh, through bit.ly, uh, bit.ly slash mentorct. And so you can sign up to be a mentor today. We also have resources on our website uh, for social media purposes. Where 
you can take those resources and push them out into the community, each one reach one. So promote mentoring. We certainly know it's a strategy of choice and benefits yeah. the lives of young people. There you go, preventionworkct.org. Uh, right? .org. Dot org. Preventionworkct.org. Good, Mr. Armin. Thank you for taking the time yep. to give us a little bit of that knowledge for you. Thanks a lot. Thanks it's for having us. such a great partnership with the different governors that the state's had going back many years, yep. and hopefully it yep. continues for a while. So thank you for being here today. Thanks for having we us. We do appreciate it. Yep. All right, over to Matt Scott now. we got some snow to talk about, at least for right now. Is it still snowing? Mm -hmm. When's the change are we going to have?